Everybody has the same 24 hours every day. Same 24 hours. You know, you don't have any more hours than I have. Are you going to put forth more effort than I put in? That, that's what you should ask yourself. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. How many people here wake up at 4.30? Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Everybody else though does it. Like I, I, I've got such a jump on you, it's not even funny how big of a jump I have on you before you even wake up. See, if you want to be the best, then you have to. Everybody has the same 24 hours every day. Same 24 hours. You know, you don't have any more hours than I have. Are you going to put forth more effort than I put in? That, that's what you should ask yourself. You know, if, you know, there's no way Ricky's working this hard. You're in there getting in, you're making phone calls, you're doing all this stuff. There's no way he's doing all this as long as I'm doing it. That's, that's what you need to be thinking if you really want to be the best. And so 430 was a thing for me because when I started speaking, writing, coaching and getting so many DMs on Instagram that were so, like, I can't ignore them because it's, it, it's people that just really, really need help. And if I just ignore them, then I'm basically turning my back on the industry. And the whole reason I'm doing this is to, is to increase the industry. And so it was a decision I had to make. How am I going to do this? I don't have time. Well, yeah, I do. I can carve out an extra hour every morning from 4.30 to 5.30 to answer those DMs. So it was literally out of necessity, but it ended up being something more than that. Because like you say, my personal life, you know, just getting up that early and it... It, it, it has, it, I, really, I, I love it. I love getting up that early. Um, now I get up and actually feed my daughter before I start answering the DMs <laughs> and get my wife, uh, let her sleep. And then I put her back to sleep, answer the DMs, I go to the gym. And that's my morning routine. You're trying to set all this stuff in motion. You're trying to set this game plan and put all this stuff in motion before you really connect with these prospects. And then what happens is, is you think you have this incredible situation and then you turn around when you're supposed to follow up and they don't answer the phone and they're, they're dodging you. They go, they will go ghost on you. And it's because you, you, you went a little too hard. You weren't, you didn't listen. Like, like I've done, I've been doing it so long. I, I know, like I can talk to a prospect. I know what they're thinking, even if it's not what they say. Like I know about what's going on, where they're going with it. You know, if they're gonna call, you know, if they're gonna answer when I try to follow back up with them, because I still have that. I still have prospects that, uh, you know, that don't answer when I follow up with them. I mean, that's part of the game. Don't let it bother you. You know, you, like I said, you gotta find that balance between quality and quantity. You gotta, at some point, it's gotta be about volume of people. You know, it's, it just can't be just about quality. You just can't just take care of three or four people and just go all out for three or four people. You know what I mean? You, 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 gotta, you gotta have hundreds of people going on. You know, you need to have 20 to 30 situations, possible deals happening at all times. You know, and then that manifests into, you know, five under contracts over the next 60 days. And then you just keep 20 to 30 things, you know, possibilities, possible listings, possible buyers. You keep working that little list. Some people say they're never going to do anything. They drop out. You're adding more to it. You got this little list, 20 to 30 possibilities. You're just constantly working, you know, and you might knock out five. You know, you might you get to where you, if you keep that and you maintain that, you might get to where you're closing, you know, three to five a month. You know, I mean, you can't just focus on one or two or three people you know, and just think that's gonna get you to the motherland, you know? What I've done for the last 18 years is literally what I love to do. And that is help people buy and sell real estate. It is literally my favorite thing in the world. Nothing makes me more happy than helping people buy and sell real estate. It's my passion. It's kind of like what I was drawn to do, what I was meant to do. I love speaking, I love writing, I love helping you guys. I really love helping you guys. Okay, it really makes me happy knowing that things that I do are helping other people. Raise your hand if you have picked up a listing from doing the things that I teach. Raise your hand if 
you were about to quit real estate and then you found me somewhere and then now, now you have momentum and you have motivation. You're actually making sales and making a living as a real estate agent. See, this is what it's all about. I'm doing this to reduce the failure rate in the industry. I'm taking it on as a personal mission because I see so many people that, that are good people. They want, they really want to help people. They, they're hard workers. They're in it for the right reasons. They do what they're supposed to do, but then they fail.